Results can contain anything from articles to videos to audio files or media files. We're going to focus on articles. You can see the little icons over here. This says this one's an academic journal and this one's a review. You can see also you've got a clickable title. Underneath that, some brief publication information. And underneath that, you'll have the option for HTML full text, PDF full text, or both, as with this article, HTML full text and PDF full text. If you click on HTML full text, it's going to bring up just the HTML file of the article, which means it's just going to be the text of the article. No page breaks, no photos, no graphs, nothing like that. But the superpower of an HTML full text article is that you can listen to it. See this bar right here underneath the main title? It says listen. You hit play, you can hear it over here. You can click on download and save it to your phone or wherever you want to save it to. And then you can listen to it while you're doing the dishes or walking the dog or whatever. Or you can listen to it while you're reading. I find that that makes it much easier for me to absorb what's being said in the article if I read while it's being read to me. Over here on the right hand side, you have got some tools. You can save this article to Google Drive. You can print it, email it, save it to a disk, cite it. If you click on cite, it's going to open up a frame. If you scroll down in the frame, you can see all of these different ways that you can cite this. There's MLA. You can highlight the citation that you want, copy it, and then paste it on your bibliography or works cited page. Always make sure that this citation matches whatever citation format your instructor wants. So if they say they want you to check your citations against a style sheet or against Purdue OWL, always do that to confirm that this is exactly what they're looking for. You can export the article or create a note or a permalink or share it. And that's the HTML full text. If we go back to our results list, we're going to look at the same article. But we're going to look for, there it is, PDF full text. Now the PDF full text, you can see by looking at this, is exactly how the item would look on the page of a journal article, or of a journal, if you pulled it off the shelf. It's got page numbers. If there were any pictures or charts or graphs, they'd be in there in the exact right place. Here on the right-hand side, you still have your options to save to Google Drive, print, email, save in a folder, site will still open up that frame at the top. You can still um, export, link to, and share. 